Hey kids, I'm back again. I said in my last video I was going to do a flip through of the A Cross Stitch Christmas book from Craftworks, I think. Craz. Craft Ways. I got a postcard in the mail a couple of months ago saying did I want to preview this and if I did they would send me the book and they would send the free gift and if I didn't want it I could send it back and if I did want it it's $25 with shipping you can either pay that all at once or you can pay $6.50 a month for four months so I flipped through this the other day and I also received in the mail yesterday the newest edition of the Just Cross Stitch magazine, December 2016. So I thought I would flip through that too because there's a couple good things in here. So we'll get started. The free thing I got is called a Treasury of Christmas Cross Stitch Designs and I can't flip through that because it's just the patterns in there. But that shows a bunch of them on there. It's just a little leaflet. It's like five or six pages. Okay, so the book. It's a nice hardcover thick book and the very first design is called Joy of Christmas Past. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if I would stitch that, but it's got a lot of great colors in it. I like that. The next one, oh, they say all Joy of Christmas Past, but then here's just some other ones. Here's that page. And then, I can't see if you guys can see that. And then that. And then some of these, these are kind of cool. Like, there's some of this. And then there's some of these on perforated paper. I really like the ones on the perforated paper. They'd be cute little ornaments or gift tags or something. And then this is kind of neat too looks like a little advent like one of those boxes like Blackbird Designs had for Halloween a while ago you stitch a couple designs and put them in there yeah oh that was a section they have them in sections that was called the joy of Christmas past the next section is Christmas at the cabin then there's that yeah that's not really my taste but I know many of you may like it. And they have this one. And then they have this too. Tablecloth. That's kind of cool. This I do like. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those designs on Etsy. Those are kind of cool. I don't know if I would stitch that, but I do like it. And then they have this like for a Christmas card holder, I guess, or a mail bin. Yeah. Some coasters, and then they have this tree. I like that. Haven't really seen anything in here I would stitch, though. But I'm gonna keep the book because you never know. Festive favorites is the next section. This looks like a lot of backstitch people. Yeah, Santa. A lot of backstitch. No. <laughs> Some of you don't mind it. I hate it. Mm -mm. Some little doodads you put like on Christmas cards. That's kind of cool. And then this angel. Looks like it's not on perforated paper. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's done on Ada and they cut it out. And then this is like a gift bag. That's kind of cool. Never seen that done. Yeah. And then there's one on this side too, a bell pull. And then some little tags for like candy jars. Now this next thing is a stocking and I might stitch this. I've wanted to stitch myself a stocking for a while. I really like that. It reminds me of peppermint candy. Yeah, I might do that one. Now I'd be sending that off to get finished because uh, there's no way I can finish the stocking like actually make the stocking mm -mm. this book is pretty big a lot of stuff in it frosty friends now some of these I really do like let me move this I like this 
Yeah, like a snowman sampler. I do like that one. And then they also took some of the things if you wanted to make like little gift tags stitched on perforated paper. This I like too. All different like snowmen scenes. And then on this side, they have a big one. Snowman and little girl. Looks like a lot of backstitch too. <laughs> another gift tag. And then another stocking. And then these are kind of cool. I have to turn this. Some more gift tags. I like those. Yeah. I'm flipping through all the patterns for that section. And then the next section is called Elegant Noel. And in this section, these, there's a couple in here that I really like. This first one, I, I think I'm going to stitch this one. I really like that. I like how the word peace is done and the bird. Yeah, I really like that one. And then there's some like little designs and looks like um, a box, a shadow box. And then there's a stocking on this side. Knock that in This next thing I love too. You know me in letters. Look at that, Noel. It looks like it's only done in a couple colors too and it's on the blue fabric. It's kind of dark fabric, but I really like that. So that may be something I'd stitch too. Oh, and there's, this is a nice design too on this page of a reindeer. Yeah, I like that. And then this is for, I don't know, it like, looks like little gift wrapping and stuff. Ambitious people who do, oh, I'm showing the pattern, who do all those gift tags and stuff. There's no way. I don't stitch for anybody but me anymore. Yeah, I really like that peace bird. I think I'm going to stitch that one. And I think there's only one more section called Dashing Through the Snow, where it's a, they show a rabbit and a fox. They're kind of cute. And then this one with some birds, and then this one with deer. Oh, I like this one. Look at that big fox. That's solidly stitched. Yeah, that's full coverage on that one. And then I have this one too. And then they have some cute little ornaments. Looks like an owl, a squirrel, and a fox at the bottom. Those are cute. And that might be it. Yeah, that's it. And then they show you cross stitch basics at the at the back, like instructions, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so that was it for that. That was actually quite a bit of designs in there. I really only like like two or three though. But for 25 bucks, that's kind of worth it. You think you pay $8, $9 a pattern anyway, right? Okay. Now, the Just Cross Stitch December 2016 issue. This is the cover design. Yeah, I don't really like that, but I like that red fabric. But there were some in here that I did like. Okay, the first one is a Thanksgiving piece. That's kind of simple and cute. Oh, I like that. I don't have many Thanksgiving designs. I've only stitched one. I'd like to stitch some more. This is kind of cute. Mr. and Mrs. Bleah. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Fox Pilgrim. I like that. I'm become obsessed with foxes. So that's kind of cute. And these are kind of cute too, a fall pincushion trio. Yeah, I like those. They'd be really simple to do too. <laughs> There's a silk weaver ad. I can't show it to you because it's got patterns. Silk weaver ad on the bottom of it. That's friggin' hilarious. Okay, here, yeah, here's the cover design. It's called British Birds. Yeah, I like that fabric. 
You know me in color. If you watch my videos, love color. Here's a Hanukkah piece, a Hanukkah gift bag. I'm gonna have to cover up the bottom because it has the pattern on the bottom. So that's pretty simple and cute. And then a Christmas cross, a coin purse. Man, they're getting, getting inventive as to what you stitch on. I would be afraid to use that coin purse. Throw it in the purse and gets dirt and lint all over it and stuff. No. It'd be on display. Oh, there's some ornaments in here. Okay. This is going to be hard to show you, but I'm going to try. This one is called No Peeking. And this is kind of cool. I got to cover the, the patterns right on the side of it. Look at that beard. What is that done in? Fizzle yarn. Okay. It's kind of neat. I like that. Different little technique. Yeah, I subscribe to Just Cross Stitch and Cross Stitch and Needlework, and I have for years. I just, I rarely stitch anything out of them, but I just like to get them. Here's some more ornaments for fairies. Those are kind of cute. And another ornament called Yuletide. This is from Hands On Design, actually. Got a cover because the pattern's right there on the side. So there's that. And then there's another ornament. It's by Amy Bruckins called Penguin Love. And I gotta cover it too because the pattern's right there on the dang page. That's cute. Oh, I like this one. Backstitch though. It's a gingerbread house. I have the gingerbread house from the Clouds Factory. That thing is awesome. If I'm gonna stitch a gingerbread house, it's gonna be that. But there's that one. That's kind of cute, small. And then my Christmas stocking. And it's, I know it's hard to see. The patterns are right above it on the same page, so I can't show the whole thing. Okay, now this next one I do want to stitch. I showed this in a previous video because I also get the digital version of Just Cross Stitch. This is the Seasons in Chalk Art, the Christmas one. Now, they show you the actual chalk art. This is the actual chalk drawing below it. And then here's the cross stitch design. Isn't that awesome? You know, I'm not stitching on black, but I love that. And then on this side, which is cool, they show you all of the ones that were featured in the magazines. I love the I love them all. I really really like them all. I like the fall one and the winter one the best. Yeah, I'd like to stitch all of them. You know, when I win the lottery and can never work again. <laughs> Here's some designs based on a Christmas carol, Tiny Tim and Scrooge, and they're like the one color things. Those are kind of cool for people who... I love that movie, though. I actually like the Scrooge version with um, Bill Murray. Hilarious. And then here's a Redbird sampler. Hmm, many of you might like that one. Pretty simple. I'm trying to flip. And then here's an angel. I like this fabric. I bet, that's, I bet that's a picture of this plus fabric. Yeah, let's see what fabric that is. Yep, I was right. You can pick that out. Picture this plus mystic. And then candles in the night. There's a lot of designs in this magazine. And then Joy Squared. I like this one. I, I'm tempted to stitch this one. Maybe on a fabric that's a little bit darker because you can't, they stitched it on Morris Blue Linen White Joblin from Weeks Dye Works. I don't know where Joblin comes from because Weeks Dye Works linen is linen. Okay, but yeah, I think that's a little bit too light. You can hardly see the letters because the letters are done in white. But I do like that. And here's a better picture of them. They show it again. I got to cover it because it's the... But you can kind of see it a tiny bit better. Yeah, definitely needs to be on a darker fabric. But there's a design on this side called Christmas Tree Farm. 
with some snowmen or snow woman. And I think that's it. Oh no, there's more. There's a hard danger thing. Never tried that. I don't think I ever will. It's like a little mat. It's pretty. And I think there's one more design. If I can flip to it. Um, a Christmas quilt. This is kind of cool. You stitch all these little squares. And then this is quilt stuff around here. That's kind of cool. I think that was the last design. Let's see. Yeah, that was the last design. And then what's nice is they kind of, this is neat. In the back, they have all of the designs in the whole magazine. So you can flip to it and find something pretty quick. That's kind of cool. Okay, so that was it for that. And this was 16 minutes, which I can't believe that. And I just shook the table again. So until next week, happy stitching, happy stashing, and I'll see you next time.